Hey y'all, hello. All right, let's get started. I have a treat for you. Now, have you ever heard of Italian sausage stir fry? So this is gonna be a spinach sausage stir fry. I got my tomatoes and my onions and my mushrooms and my baby spinach. And I got my Italian sausage, got Mrs. Dash, paprika, got a little garlic powder and black pepper. And of course I have my olive oil. Notice I don't have any salt. And I will tell you why, because this Italian sausage has enough sodium in it. Do you see that? Over 600 milligrams of salt. So you don't need to add any salt. I always look at your meat and if you, if it has enough sodium, please don't add any more salt. You'll be laying on the ground somewhere. So you chop it all up. I got my, my veggies ready to go in the frying pan. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to wash these babies. So I just put a little olive oil in and then we're going to make some mm, bon appetit sausage stir fry. I'm going to put all these vegetables in and let it rip. Now make sure if you do not want your uh, veggies to be really really soft and what some people would say muggy then don't put them in with the meat if you want a crisp tomato and crisp onion then put them in later with the um, spinach but I, it doesn't matter to me so I put it all in together to give that extra flavor um, I love that flavor of the tomatoes and onions kind of melt it down in the uh, sausage and in the uh, veggies but of course you're not me so if you don't like it muggy and mushy then put it in last okay that's up to you so stir it around and then make sure you put a little um your seasoning in and you really don't have to add seasoning because the Italian sausage will really give it all the flavor you really need because um, it has its own flavor by itself but um, I'm putting everything in here except for uh, the salt because like I said you don't need any extra salt especially um, if you're like me I have um, high blood pressure so I don't usually add any salt especially if it's in my meat already so I just put a little pap pap paprika and um, Mrs. Dash and things like that um, sometimes I'll put lemon pepper if the meat does not have any salt in it and just a little ounce of garlic powder you know just to give it little extra flavor um, you know there's nothing wrong with the little flavor trust me you will not miss the sodium so put that sodium back put that salt back in the cabinet you would not need it at all so after you stir this together you're gonna let it kind of steam fry you don't have to keep stirring it just kind of get the mixes and the ingredients the seasoning uh, all the seasons combine and then you just kind of gonna let that sit there for a little bit doesn't that look yummy so let it do what it needs to do mm. oh yes yes see all the little flavor and then we're gonna cook a little rice with this now you could cook brown rice and be healthy all the way but of course I'm gonna put some white rice in here my husband likes white rice and so do I so everything can't be healthy you know but I'm um, gonna add that maybe about a cup that's a little less than a cup but I'll, I'll put a little bit more later let me just see what this is gonna do um, so we'll get that done and then you see this uh, 
it is ready to put the spinach in. Now I have a whole family size pack of spinach and I'm going to load this baby with all of this spinach. And you know why? Because it's just going to drizzle on down to almost nothing. That's right. Put it all in. Of course you make sure you um, wash it. Even though the pack says it was washed and ready to go. I always like to wash everything. I washed all my vegetables. I washed all of my, um, I wash my meat. And, you know, I just wash, I wash it all. You know, I, I don't, I don't trust the stores. Just wash your vegetables, wash your meat. Um, every time, you know, you bring it home. So, I'm going to, um, put all of this in. Turn the stove down a little bit because that rice is trying to get away from me. Um, and then once you put all of your uh, uh, spinach in, and you can do kale too. If you like kale more than you like uh, spinach, then use the kale. It it both they both taste good to me. So you can use your kale or your spinach. I'm putting all of this in here. And notice I'm not going to stir it up because guess what? I would end up making a big mess. So let it drizzle on down by itself. Why stress yourself trying to stir up the flavors right now? Just put the top on it and wait about, it don't even take five minutes for that to drizzle on down. It's going, um, it's gonna go down real fast. Just put the top on it, turn it down um, low and a low lower temperature. I put it on about five, yeah, temp five. And just wait a few minutes and come back to it. And um, so check on the rice again. And I think I'm gonna add a sweet potato because it seems like something's gonna be missing from the plate. So I want a little color. So I'm gonna grab a sweet potato and um, we're gonna add that to the dish. I'm gonna punch a few holes in it and we're gonna pop the, uh, oh yeah, I'm just adding a little bit more rice. I told you I was gonna do maybe a cup, but this is about a cup of rice um, that I did add. So put the holes in it and pop it in the microwave on seven minutes. All right, you see how that drizzled on down? And it doesn't take long. It took about five minutes, I would say. And um, now you can stir all your flavors in. Now you can make sure everything um, is mixed in real good. You don't have to add any more uh, seasoning because all of your seasoning was added before and trust me again you don't need any salt so don't even worry about that the flavors will come together and this is gonna be so good it looks delicious already if you like spinach I, you will enjoy you're gonna enjoy this if you don't like spinach you're probably tooting your nose up at it right now but I can taste all the flavors in it. And notice the tomatoes and onions they, and the mushrooms have uh, drizzled on down. But if you like it crunchy, remember I said you can add it last. Um, you know, and that's not a problem. A lot of people like this stuff crunchy. All right, so we're doing the finishing touches. Almost done. Let the rice cook about five more minutes. And voila! You can have it two ways. You can put the spinach stir fry on the side with the potatoes. And I cooked the, I added an extra um, tomato because, you know, my husband likes it crunchy. Or you can put the stir fry on top of the rice. Okay. So either way, if you like it on top, you do that. Um, I'm saying stir fry, but you know, 
call it what you want little steamed veggies um you can put that on top or you can put it on the side all right so this is my dish enjoy enjoy okay bon appetit ladies and gentlemen